morning everyone. We had uh, quite a bit of rain last night, as you can see. Um, so I've got the hydro running full power. I'll show you. There's the output of it. There's that. So yeah, running full power. Water goes off down the hill there. So uh, let's have a look at what we got going on and see how much power we're making now. I've been fiddling around with the contraption to catch the water and uh, and test uh, test for efficiency, but that video will be coming up. All right, there she is. She's running full bore. There's the pressure gauge. So at uh, full full absolute full flow currently, we've got about uh, five psi of loss, four and a bit, four and a half, five psi of friction loss, which isn't too bad. Uh, but we're still going to improve that, hopefully. Uh, but it takes time. Um, so yeah, let's go and see uh, if cleaning the pipe has improved our efficiency at all. Okay, just up by the intake, thought I'd just quickly check, make sure we're getting enough water. A little blockage, look. See, when it's sucking like this, when it's a full flow, the suction just drags everything down to it. And that's because the intake is quite small for the amount of flow I'm running at the moment. So I made this for the old system. So, uh, so yeah, that is a job to do, is making you intake. But yeah, there we go. Full flow. As you can see, it's not a huge amount of water to make uh, quite a lot of power. And there's spare water there too, so I could, you know, run higher flow. But we want to get the efficiency, like, as high as we can get it before we mess around with running more flow. Yeah, let's go see what power we're making now. Back up in the shed here, and, uh, yeah, say so we gained a few watts. No huge amount, but a few watts. Because normally we're steady around 450. I've seen 460 before, but only for a split second. Um, that jumping around, you can see, I think that is where we're just slightly overwhelming the intake. Um, I think that's what that is. And it's sucking in a bit of air as it's not quite getting enough. So I think we've reached the limit, really, of what the in intake can do. Yeah, a few watts improvement by cleaning out the pipe. Um, I'm going to take you down to Hydro and explain. Uh, I've been doing some calculations. I'll explain some stuff. Okay, so a few little updates. Uh, the little motor I was using to control the spear is packed up, shorted out. So I'm going to put in a better quality, bigger motor that can handle the torque a bit more. Um, so that's a job I need to do. Uh, but for now, I'm mostly just using the other jets and doing that all manually. We we'll sort it out. So uh, the biggest question people have is, are all my losses uh, in this small pipe leading and the intake? And I've been doing some calculations and working out what's going on. Uh, I don't have huge losses, but we're trying to fine tune it, you know, get it the best it can be uh, economically. Uh, so I've been doing some working out. Now, these fittings here, where it goes from two inch to one inch, there is quite significant loss in these. And considering I have three of them, those are worth changing. I'm going to machine some, some tapers to insert into these. So that will be a tune. I think there's, there's potentially 10, 10, 15 watts there in doing those. Now, when I did the calculations in the last video, I calculated uh, what the loss is in this small pipe, because it goes from big pipe to small pipe. Calculated what the loss is if that whole length was small pipe into the manifold, and the losses are quite small. However, I've been since reading lots about uh, efficiencies of fittings and going from large to smaller. And although this is, um, is you know, the math says there shouldn't be too much loss, the fittings are where the losses are. Yeah, the pipe itself, it, would, it wouldn't have much loss. If we went straight from big pipe straight down to the smaller pipe in one smooth gradient, we would have hardly any loss. But each one of these fittings as it tapers down has quite a bit of friction. I can't remember exactly the numbers right now, but they have quite a bit of friction. Even the ball valve has quite a bit of friction. So um, upgrades when we take it all apart in the summer, if we have to do maintenance and stuff, I might look at going um, uh, from straight from this 90 mil pipe all the way into the manifold. Now that should, by my calculations, give us one and a half to two PSI more which a full flow would be about 50 watts max, about 50 watts. So, yeah, we'll see about that. 
Um, as far as the intake is concerned, yes there is turbulence and losses in the intake box, but we need to look at the bigger picture with that. Is that intake box allows me to run all of these different nozzles and running all of these different nozzles like this individually allows me to run the turbine for more days per year. Um, so although there is a loss in the intake box, um, having the four nozzles is, is important so I can actually run it for longer for portion of the year. Um, if I could just have two nozzles, you know, one, one spear, one fixed, and have the pipe come in and just go straight to that and then round to the other one, less fittings, less loss, that would be good. And when I design these in the future for sale, uh, I will do that depending on the system. But I have such changeable flows, the four nozzles uh, means I can run power for longer periods of the year and I just have to accept those losses. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just clear that up. Uh, so yeah, we're running about 460 watts at the minute. There's definitely more power to be had out of it. Um, I think we can get 500 still um, without too much more fiddling around. Um, but yeah, eventually we'll probably go from there straight into the intake box. Don't think I'm going to redesign the intake because it, I think it actually works quite well. I've been doing some efficiency tests and we're actually pretty close to what is the limit of this anyway um, in, in economic terms. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's going to be in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.